Battles of America, Brandywine. By September of 1777, the battle for American independence had reached Pennsylvania. After the indecisive battles of Oriskany and Bennington, the British concentrated their efforts on capturing the new colonial capital, Philadelphia. All that stood in their way was Brandywine Creek and the American forces. Trying to anticipate all possible British attack routes, General Washington deployed his troops along seven fords on the east side of the Brandywine during the evening of September 10th. Since Chad's Ford offered the easiest route across the river, Washington believed he could force an attack there. In the early hours of September 11th, under cover of heavy fog, upwards of 16,000 redcoats quietly left camp at Kennett Square and headed for the Brandywine. Under command of Generals Howe and Cornwallis, the British split their forces. Unbeknownst to Washington, Cornwallis crossed at a ford far north of the Patriot Army and flanked the American troops. The thick fog, coupled with conflicting scout reports, rendered Washington blind to the oncoming attack. 11,000 colonials valiantly fought back and slowed the British advance. However, they soon found themselves all but surrounded, and Washington was forced to retreat. Not only did the British have superior numbers, but their force included crack troops composed of grenadiers, brigadiers, and Hessian riflemen. By nightfall, an estimated 1,300 American troops were killed or captured, while the British lost almost 600 to injury or death. The 11 hours of continuous fighting made the Battle of Brandywine the longest one-day battle of the Revolutionary War. Over the next two weeks, General Howe advanced his forces closer to Philadelphia. On September 26th, the British marched into Philadelphia, taking the city without resistance. This loss by the Americans in the Battle of Brandywine did not dampen the spirits of the Patriots. They knew their cause was just and that the tactical gap was closing between the British and the emboldened American upstarts.